All right, so here's the car as it sits right now. Um, I took it through a coin-operated wash on my way home while I had it loaded up on the trailer and uh, knocked a lot of stuff off it, but you know, you can still see some spots that the paint is just, I mean, it's, it's tired. And I didn't get all the gunk and stuff. Uh, one day this week when I can uh, get out here and put some more time into it, I am going to give it a good hand wash. I got some good detail stuff. Uh, so let's talk about this car. It is a 1991 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX turbo all-wheel drive five-speed. I've been personally hunting this car for like over a year now. Uh, funny story. I knew the guy who um, the car was sitting at his house. Uh, I actually went to drive one of his Corvettes, and that video is coming up pretty soon. It's a C4. It's really nice. Uh, and he had it sitting there. I was like, man, I want that car. I want that car so bad. Well, it wasn't actually his. The owner was keeping it there, uh, and it had been there for <laughs> just about 10 years. And unfortunately, when something sits for like 10 years, it tends to get a little tired. And, you know, the owner decided then that he wanted to sell it. He posted it online. I made him an offer. Didn't really work out, so we went back and forth for a while. And, uh, let's see. Today is Sunday. Yesterday. Yesterday, the owner of this car messaged me and uh, made me offer. I made him a counter offer. And uh, he said, okay. It's yours. Well, I almost feel bad because I had decided to make the truck my project, and it still is. It's still got a lot of life in it. But I couldn't pass on the opportunity to get this car. I mean, I had a 1992 in high school. Okay, It was a 1.8. Uh, it was 5-speed. And uh, it was a fun little car, but it just had no power. And I always thought that these would be just... Ah, awesome. And uh, it was. So you saw earlier in the video, all we really had to do was top off the radiator and uh, put a new battery in it. And then, you know, it lived. So that was actually a surprise because I really thought I brought everything I needed to uh, tow it onto the trailer. Like I thought this thing was going to go with a fight, but it didn't. So, okay. Let's check out a few cool things about this car. Now, uh, the inside is tired. Uh, the door panels hang up on the door sometimes. I gotta fix that. Uh, the seats uh, have seen better days. That's to be sure. Uh, what this car has that mine didn't is a sunroof. Now, you can see the, the rubber gaskets there are a little tired, but we can fix that. I need to clean this up. I thought I got a lot of this off with the spray hose, but guess not. Oh, okay. So, what you're looking at here is 90s, like the most 90s thing you can buy. It even has the, oh, let's see, fully automated seat belt. So when you close the door, huh? No? Maybe I have to turn it on. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Kids today, don't know anything about that. Um, the AC doesn't work, I believe. I believe it just needs a recharge. Um, it will start, though. Let me take the seatbelt off, it's really bothering me. So, i tell you what. I don't want to run it for too long because I haven't figured out the mystery cooling issue, but... That's, I mean, you guys have seen it start. You've seen it run. Um, so, let's just start it up and give it a little love. All right. And uh, we've got a couple of, uh, you know, pod things here. We've got the air-fuel ratio, which I don't really think it's working. We've got a boost gauge. What else? Um, you know, the dash panel and everything is a little tired. I want to get a new shift knob. 
if you guys uh, have a suggestion for a really like I don't know I don't like the metal I don't like this loose I'm sure I could tighten it up but if you guys know of a manufacturer of really just like solid shift I'm thinking maybe wood I don't know why I think a wood shift knob would really look good here um, we've got hubcaps down there uh, I think there's only three of them I think one's missing uh, these are really hard to find uh, let's see what else. Like I said, don't know if the air conditioner is working or just needs to recharge. Um, this thing will run hot after a little while, and uh, we're not sure if that is from a blown head gasket like the owner thought, or if it's just um, if it's just a. I know the radiator, uh, the end cap on it, one side is rusted out, and. Uh, well, let's see. Looks like it's trying to work. Let's look at the boost gauge here. I promise I'll get a driving video done of it soon. Um, let's see. Just it really like the back seats are immaculate, um, and it's got a cross brace back there, and it's also got um, that's a rear strut brace. This is the front strut brace. It's just not installed right now riding shotgun with me it needs to be installed um tell you what give me just a second i want to show you guys another cool thing and then i'll pop the hood and we'll look at that 4g 63t this though is one of my favorite parts oh headlights go up headlights go down headlights go up headlights go down up down up down and if you uh hit them fast enough it gets a little twitchy <laughs> um, I don't know if the headlights actually work. Let's find out. Oh, there we go. If they don't, it's not a big deal. I think these are sealed beams. Oh, snap, they work. Um, I really want to upgrade them to LED. Uh, and it's, of course, got fog lights. That's cool. Um, and it's going to need a new corner marker light. So if any of you DSM heads know where I can find find that let me know um, right and I would pick up and show you uh, the back hatch but it's currently uh, the struts are down on it so that won't work oh it doesn't turn off if the headlights are on okay Boop. seriously I could just do this all day all right um, I just want to see if the temperature will get a little higher just with it idling. Um, I know it probably will because it's probably running low on water. Uh, that's all we had to put in it. Uh, also, it's missing a A pillar cover right there. Uh, let me put the sun down. I had it up just to air out the car. I uh, might need a new mirror eventually. Yeesh. That's that's looking kind of rough. Uh, okay. Uh, da, da. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly what this does because uh, this is my first boosted car. Uh, we've got our classic 90s uh, radio and CD player. Uh, the radio doesn't work really well because the power antenna doesn't work. Uh, so, got that going for us. And I do love these seats. I wish I could either get them reupholstered, maybe, or find new ones, or maybe put some Evo ones in here. These are not uncomfortable. I'll say that. Here, let's see. Let's lay this seat down. Take a look at the trunk area. It's actually got a little bit of room for stuff back there. Uh, not a ton, but I mean, you can you can definitely uh, make a road trip car out of this. And I might just do that. If my wife will ever agree to me, you know, get the get the in-laws or my mom to watch uh, watch our baby girl and then uh, go for a road trip. Anyway, let's shut her down and take a look at the engine. Right. Also, we're gonna need new tires because I don't think any of these match. A uh, good friend of mine, though, happens to have some 60 Treadwear tires. 
Oh, you can tell it was running hot. Okay, there it goes. Alright. That's where we're getting some trouble from the radiator. We definitely got a leak going on. Uh, I've already picked out the Mishimoto radiator and setup that I would really like. Might have to give this a minute. Yeah, we're definitely running hot. That's a familiar sound from a uh, uh, car that I used to have. I used to run hot all the time. Anyway, here in all its overheating glory is the Mitsubishi 4G63T. This engine would go on to power uh, the Evos up until the Evo 10. I think the Evo 10 is a different motor. I'm not sure. Somebody please in the comments correct me. It also has all-wheel drive and you know, look right down there there's our turbo. Really it's it's almost um, laughable how little I know but here's the thing um, I know enough to know that this this is the car I wanted. This is the one that I've been hunting for. This is <laughs> you know I love my truck. I love the Slostis over there I haven't forgotten about it but this car is you can never go back to high school but you can certainly find a little piece of it now high school wasn't too great for me I didn't enjoy high school but I did love cars and if I had the money in high school I would have bought this this would have been it um, so yeah this is this is the jam this is gonna be uh, you know, you know how people get cars and they say they don't ever see themselves getting rid of it and they sell it within a couple of years. Uh, I don't know if I would ever get rid of this. And I don't know if this car will appreciate in value. I don't know if it will ever, uh, you know, be worth more than what I paid for it. Well, I'm pretty sure just by giving it a bath and, uh, you know, getting it running, it's already worth more than I paid for it. But... I don't know. So anyway, I'm sure you're wondering what my plan is for this project. Um, while the race truck is eventually going to be so, you know, batty, so, uh, eh, whatever, batshit crazy, that I mean, it probably won't be much useful as a truck. I almost want to keep this as a time capsule. I almost want to just... I really want to just do slight modifications that are going to make this car a little better. What I'm looking at is, you know, fixing up the interior, uh, sorting out the cooling issues. And because it's turbo and intercooled car, I'd like to get a um, front-mounted intercooler because the current one that's in it is is tiny. I mean, I'm sure it does the job, but you with a turbo car, you can always be cooler. Uh, I know that much for sure. And maybe some, you know, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo rims um, with some, some better brakes. I mean, the brakes are good on this car. But if you look at the ones that were on, say the Evo 7, the Evo 8, it's, it's a whole different ball game. And with something this size, with, uh, you know, a little grippier tires, uh, which I'm already working on, and a lot better brakes, I mean... This thing could do anything. Just got to work out the cooling issues and everything else. Um, also, another cool thing. Little fart can muffler back there. I'm almost ashamed. Uh, and it's not necessarily a fart can. But it's a heck of a resonator. And I'm, I'm almost ashamed at how much I, I love that. And uh, I love the sound. So, yeah. This is it. What do you guys think? Um... Tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know. And you know what I think a great way to end this video is? I'm going to try an all-wheel drive burnout. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of my brand new 1G DSM in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Okay, I don't have anybody hold the camera, so I'm just going to stick it uh, to the truck. What is 
I had never given the E36 a second thought. I had always thought that those were kind of like the uh, lamest M3 ever, or really just the least desirable. I mean, the E30 M3, yeah, that's cool because it's it's the originator. The E46 M3 was the super M of my youth. That along with the 